vintage string joint doll hand painted. This was one of those items out of a recent, well, more recent garage sale video that I did. Uh, I wasn't sure how I would do with the dolls. I'm not really great with dolls, but I decided to grab a bag of dolls and this was one of the items in it. And I actually sold it for- Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about items that you might walk past, items that I bought cheap and I sold for a profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. All right, let's get started. The first item I have to share with you is this little vintage silver astronaut spaceman action figure cake topper. Any little action figures, especially if they have a little base on the bottom, I always put cake topper in the title. This is from 1998. I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You on her YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to Auctions For You, you have got to go sub her up. Awesome inventory for resellers. Her and Donatella Bottolino go back and forth on each other's channels. And you guys, if you're new here, you haven't heard me talk about them. If you're not new here, you hear me talk about them like a broken record. Because every time I do a What Sold video, I always sell something from one of them. Um, love, love, love their channels and the stuff that I get from them. And astronauts also remind me of another reseller friend that I have, Rachel Strickland, awesome YouTube channel, awesome, amazing reseller content. And she is a Bolo finder and she is just inspirational, positive attitude, always so happy and kind and supportive of others. I will, did you see that? Nope. I'm going to delete it out. I will link her down below and auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino. So sub all of them up. They are fantastic resellers and people. Okay. Let's keep going here. Sorry. Um, this here came out of the Goodwill bins and it is not like Lego or Mega Bloks or anything fancy like that. It's just cool. And it's like vintage advert or not vintage. It's advertising. I probably should have used advertising in the title. Um, but it's, it's just really neat. So interstate logos. I don't know if like this is a company that puts these together, but puts it on little building blocks. Is that awesome or what? Uh, I had to grab it. I sold this for $12 plus shipping. The next item here I also got from the Goodwill bins. There was a big vintage Barbie dream house and uh, dad planet was there that day. And I'm like, you like selling stuff like that? Go get it. And he's like, he decided not to get it. And it was like one part of the house was in one bin and another part was in another bin and another part was in another bin. And it was, it was pretty beat up. And I said, are you going to get that? And he said, no. And I said, okay, well then I'm going to take the parts off of it because it's going to go to the trash. Nobody is going to pick this thing up. And I was able to save this door. Um, some of the, it was only half of the door there, some of the windows. And I think that was about it there. It was not in great shape, but I was happy to save this piece and it sold very quickly. I sold this for um, $19 and 60 cents plus shipping. And it's only one side. The next item is this scrapbooking lot, ribbon, waxy flax, and stamps, arts and crafts. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold this for $8.39 plus shipping. The next item is this zip zoom logging adventure replacement tilt log cart, car cart, Thomas Trackmaster. Uh, this one came out of a thrift store toy box and I sold this for $11.90 plus shipping. You guys would be surprised at what some of these little Thomas the Trains go for. It is worth looking them up. Um, a lot of them are bread and butter, but some of them can go in the $20 range. Um, I've done really well with some of them. The next item is this Scentsy Buddy Molly, the monkey scented stuffed plush backpack clip. Got this at a garage sale for a buck and I took a best offer of $9 plus shipping. This item here is the Transformers Rescue Bots Toy Chase Capture Claw Police Truck Trailer. And it comes apart. Anytime I see Rescue Bots, I pick them up. They do pretty well. Some of them are long tail. Some of them sell really quick. It just really depends on how many are listed and who's looking for them. I got this at a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $24.50 plus shipping. 
This is a Build-A-Bear grass skirt and hula outfit. This was very long tail. It took a long time to sell. Sold it for $13.99 plus shipping. And I don't even remember where I got it. I think I got it with a bunch of Build-A-Bear stuff, maybe at a garage sale. This right here is the Slatkins & Co. Glitter Christmas Tree Scent Portable Holder Bath & Body Works. And I was at a garage sale recently and I saw a whole bunch of these new old stock and I wanted to buy them. I was trying to get the person to bundle, but if they did one of those. I'm like, if I buy them all, how much will you sell it to me for? And they started like counting them and adding it up and they knocked off a couple bucks and I, it was just too much. They wanted like two and three bucks a piece. Um, I'm more in it for like 25 cents or 50 cents a piece because they're just a bread and butter item. I did get a bunch of these out of a thrift store mystery box, something I was unfamiliar with, and I have almost sold out of these. I probably had between seven and 12 of these, and they have done really, really well. So if you can find these cheap, definitely pick them up. And I sold this for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. The next item is this Yives Rocher. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Or wait, is it St. Yives? Yives? Uh, Yives Rocher? I don't know. But it's in eyeshadow. It's new without the box, uh, the original box, but it's in the original packaging here. And I got this at a garage sale. I sold this for $7.50 plus shipping. This right here, I didn't write it down. I got this at, oh, where did I get that dollhouse? I think I got it at a garage sale and it had some issues and I ended up parting it out. I took all the windows and I'm going to tell you these sold quick. I have sold four of these and I think most of them have sold for the full asking price. So that one was, I haven't parted this dollhouse out before. I typically um, don't pick up the dollhouses. I just pick up the stuff inside of them. But uh, depending on the dollhouse, if it's a play school dollhouse or a little tykes, I will pick those up and part them out. This right here is a vintage lot of 12 automobile cake toppers. And these were made in Hong Kong and they are super cool. I got these at a thrift store for $2 and I sold these for $25 on best offer plus shipping. This here came out of a thrift store mystery box and I almost donated them, but there were two of them. So I decided to list it and they both sold unbelievable. And they actually sold pretty quickly. So sometimes Things that I think are not going to sell actually sell. This is St. Nicholas Square Village Collection Accessory Sleigh Ride with box. Sold this for eight bucks on best offer plus shipping. Is it big money? No, but it helped pay for the box. This right here is a vintage 1970 Topper Corp Rock Flowers doll, Hong Kong. She's not in great condition. I probably overpaid for her at an estate sale. Paid six bucks for her, but I got some really amazing stuff at that estate sale that covered what I kind of overpaid for this one. Took a best offer of $15. So I still made money, but not as much as I had hoped. And the buyer paid shipping on that. This also came out of a toy mystery box from a thrift store. It was one of those things where I typically donate, but I'm like, it's not that big. This should be pretty easy to ship. And I listed it and you guys, it sold really fast for $14 plus shipping. So I'm glad I listed it. This here is a vintage PS Ult. Pekin, Illinois Crow Call. My husband picked this up at a, um, it was an estate sale and we had like a, an estate sale challenge, him and I, not really, but we uh, both went in and we went our separate ways and we were driving home and I'm like, let's do a video. You show me what you got and I'll show you what I got. And we did a video. It's on this channel. I think it's on this channel. If it's not on this channel, it's on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, but we both got some really cool stuff. Uh, there's a photo album I got in there with I, I still haven't listed it. If you guys saw that video, I still have not listed the photo album. I just don't know what to do. I feel like it's really special. But anyway, my husband paid a dollar for this and he sold it for $34 plus shipping. These Blaze and the Monster Machines I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. Some of these, if you can find Starla, she is a big money bolo. And when I say big money, $35 to $45 range, depending on the market. I think they've come down a little bit, but um. I feel like that's a big money bolo for something like this. <laughs> and I ended up selling these three for $22 plus shipping. The next item, um, I showcased this in another video. Uh, it's this Russ Baby Bucky Bunny plush with a broken pacifier. Look at this. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. And you guys, I don't even know what I was thinking, but I was like, somebody needs this bunny. They're looking for it. And I bought it. 
for a quarter and I sold it for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. I could not take that offer quick enough. This Squishmallow came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it. It is a Hug Me's Frank Cat plushie, retired. And he's got the little Valentine heart on it. And I sold this for $24.50 plus shipping. This is a Loving Family uh, Fisher Price rocking chair. And I pick up Fisher Price Loving Family all the time. Love parting out the furniture. Sold this for $9.80 plus shipping. I was recently redoing um, my money pile. I, I don't know if I'm going to share a video or not, but oh my goodness, it's huge. It's it's embarrassingly huge. But I have a whole humongous tote and then another tote full of loving family. I really need to list it. I love finding it and it does really good when I list it. I just, too much to list. All right, let's see. This right here. Huh. I don't see where my notes are. So I don't know. It's a Halloween pumpkin jack-o'-lantern blow mold string lights, uh, 2240. I think these came out of a mystery box, but not 100% sure. Um, always pick these vintage blow mold style um, string lights up that are Halloween. These laces here, I picked up at the Goodwill bins and they were probably 25 cents because they weigh next to nothing. Sold these for $7 plus shipping. This was one of those items. It was in the sealed in the package. And I'm like, I'm just going to try it. I really don't know if there's a market for it. But for that price, I'm going to try it. And they actually sold pretty quick. These Duplo Legos. Uh, I do not typically pick up the big Duplo Legos, but unless they're like specialized. So if I just found like a bunch of the plates, I probably would not pick those up. But these had all the little specialty items and I dug these out of the Goodwill bins. I ended up selling these for $33.60 plus shipping. The next item is this Peppa the Pig. It came out of a thrift store mystery box. It's the play and go yellow camper missing the hammock and the canoe. Uh, so it's basically a replacement, but it did have one figure with it. I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item is this bunny. It is by Mud Pie. Plush minky bunny rabbit, white, pink fur, satin ears, and feet. 18 inches long. Super cute. Got this at the Goodwill for a buck. And I sold this for $19.60 plus shipping. And I feel like I've heard the brand Mud Pie um, often over on the Rebel Resellers channel. If you guys are not following her, she is like a plush expert. Definitely go check her out. She has so many plush listed. And her videos are super educational. And she also finds lots of other items also, but specializes in plush. That is the Rebel Reseller. The next item came from a mystery box that a viewer sent me. This was a while ago. So this did take a little while to sell. And I just thought it was adorable. And I'm like, I can definitely sell that. I want to say it came in something else that she sent me. And I decided to list it. It says, let's be friends. Vintage Sunbeam Bread Little Girl Let's Be Friends Paper Drink Coaster from the 60s. Isn't it cute? I sold this for $4.90 plus shipping. So shout out to Krista. Thank you again so much for that mystery box. And I do have that unboxing. It's either on this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. I can't remember. This is a Connects battery operated green motor. I always pick these up when I see them. I will buy sets at garage sales just for this piece if they're cheap. Um, and I will part it out. This came from the Goodwill bins. I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item is this wooden utility folding tape measure. And I talked about these in another video. I got three of them at a church sale and I think they were a buck each. And I cannot believe how quick these sold. And, you know, they're not big money, but they sold quick. I figured I'd be sitting on them for years. Uh, sold this one for a best offer of $9.05 plus shipping. These right here are the VTech GoGo -Go Smart Wheels. It's an SUV and an ATV. I got these out of the Goodwill bins as well. Sold these for $11.90 plus shipping. This item was also a Goodwill bins find. It is a Walmart brand. That's another uh, brand, uh, Walgreens and Walmart, that the Rebel reseller talks about. Bread and Butter Plush. But this is not really a plush. It's an interactive uh, animal, like a horse, and it neighs and stuff. But I got this at the bins, and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. This Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory plush, I got this at a garage sale for $0.50, cents and I sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. 
this little for real pet. It came in a Facebook uh, lot that I got. Uh, somebody was selling all their kids toys and I went and scooped it all up. And this was in there. And I was like, I've never seen this. It's really small. I'm just going to try it. And it sold for $11.20 plus shipping. It is the Lovemoles Cotton Ball Singing Lamb. And I do have a video of how that works. Ads. Here we go. Lovables lamb. It is a mini. Never seen one of these before. Uh, let's see what it does. All right, enough of that. But anyway, I put those videos down in my description so that people looking at my items know what they're getting and how it functions and that the item actually works. We got this vintage vinyl oil cloth hard stuff toy baby doll. It's harder to find item. I, I didn't see many like it. I'm guessing maybe it's handmade. I don't know. It wasn't in great condition. Took a long time to sell. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I saved it. <laughs> I sold it for $20 plus shipping and I don't remember where I got it. The next item is this vintage string joint doll hand painted. This was one of those items out of a recent, well, more recent garage sale video that I did. Uh, I wasn't sure how I would do with the dolls. I'm not really great with dolls, but I decided to grab a bag of dolls and this was one of the items in it. And I actually sold it for $24.50 plus shipping. I thought that was pretty good. I have sold four of these. They are the Vintage Loving Family Dollhouse Replacement Window Frame. And I sold that for $8.40 plus shipping. These right here are um, ornaments, and I got these out of a thrift store Christmas box. They're White House Christmas Historical Association ornaments, and these sold really quickly for $31.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage rabbit's foot. I pulled this out of the Goodwill bins, and I actually have um, an unbagging video. I lost a lot of my Goodwill Benz footage, so I'm having to unbag the videos and show you guys how I list everything, which is okay. It's not what I was hoping for, but, you know, things happen and I'm just making the best of it. But this rabbit's foot sold for $19.99 on auction, eBay auction, and really just a fun sale. I don't know if you guys know that the vintage rabbit foot is a bolo, bread and butter bolo. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thanks for watching.